I'm Kevin Norris from Ferritech. I'm the current CEO of the company. Um, it's a small company. It's been going some 26 years now. And uh, we pride ourselves on being sustainable as we go into the future. And I think the sustainability of any business today is backed by integrity, by ethics, because without it, uh, the sustainability cannot uh, continue uh, for indefinitely. And I think the result is the fact that we are around after 26 years, after probably four or five recessions, um, and we're still going there, and we're still going strong, and we see a very good future for ourselves as a company. So we look at integrity from the front of the company right to the back. Um, the way our staff uh, treat our customers, things like quoting them correctly, making sure that well, uh, profit is not a dirty word, excessive profit, I believe, is not correct. Okay. Abusing that privilege, um, I think, always comes back. I'm a firm believer that there is a wheel that turns and uh, everything comes back to you in life. If you give good, you get it back tenfold. If you do bad, you also get it back tenfold. And I don't particularly want that tenfold coming back to my company in bed. So, uh, the program does is to start this program um, at the kindergarten level. Uh, you know, as the children come into the world and they get exposed to uh, what's fundamentally a big and ugly world at the moment, um, they learn the difference between right and wrong. Mm -hmm. I think right now where a lot of adults don't know the difference, it makes it more difficult. And it's those very adults that we are utilising in our workforce. Um, and I think it's vital that we, as, as every business, have a campaign where, where you instil, right from point of employment where you perhaps um, apply a code of ethics. I think very few companies do it. I know some of the bigger companies do it. Your Anglo's, your Beers, these kind of companies do it. Um, we've taken something like that and we've installed it in our company, so it's a basic code of ethics, this is what we'd like you to do, this is what we believe is wrong. If one stands up, if enough companies stand up and say, no, we're not prepared to deal like this any longer, they would have no choice but to change. Okay. The difficulty behind that is that I think a lot of companies are in tough times exorcisms and then move on with life because it's quite funny how as you stand up and say no I'm not going to be part of this something else comes up it's quite an amazing I spoke about this wheel of life it's quite amazing how that turns um, at the end of the day and we certainly have found it um, as we turn one down so something else comes up that's more honest and as we go through the process. I hear you say it's not just about the short-term gain, it's also looking at the end game Absolutely. along the way. Absolutely, the whole thing's about a long-term thing. You know, the problem with corruption, it's not just about the transaction, it's about the fact that you, for the rest of your life, have got to keep looking behind you. If we look at, uh, say, a country like South Africa, where we have uh, huge disparities, we have a, a, a very sharp triangle with a few people at the top and a lot of people at the bottom of that uh, pyramid, if you like. Uh, people who are very poor. Do you think that ethics can do much around companies developing business models, ways of doing business to redress the economy or does it have a role to play? So after all, ethics sit at the very edge of the serious decisions that are being made. Um, yes, it could. Okay. Now, that's where the whole mindset's got to change as, as we go through the process. And I think part of entrepreneurial skills has got to be ethics. Because if you try and rip yourself off, you're going to come short. You know, I came right back to sustainability. Okay, it's very, very important as you go through that. Absolutely. Kevin, thank you very much. It's a pleasure.